Today we are exploring the former Salvation Army homeless shelter in downtown Sudbury, Ontario. Since filming, the building has been demolished. I have waited to publish this video to prevent other viewers from going to the property as the site was very dangerous at the time of filming. Any of the floors around the demolition site could have collapsed at any given time. Always remember to explore safely and tell someone where you're going, when to expect a message back, and who to contact if they don't hear back from you. That being said, after my intro, watch as I take you inside to see what's left of the temporary home of many of our downtown's population. Alright, so that's the way I just took it. Piano flipped. So this isn't going to be as thorough of a video as my last one, just because of the location. But today we're starting in the basement. Oh geez. So this is, I believe, the old Salvation Army here in downtown Sudbury. And I came on a Sunday while well, the demolition crew was not working. So this building is literally in the middle of demolition, which is the perfect time to come in and get some last footage. Because I know for a fact that there's not going to be any power in an active demolition building. At this point, it's all about being safe and not being seen. Straight out that way to the construction site. Yeah. 
Oh geez, I could have just slipped through the fence. Okay. I like. Air conditioner. I need a new air conditioner. to get over there. Ooh, that was sketchy. Alright, this way. Oh, hello Mr. Pigeon. Or dove, who knows. No bags in bathroom. Probably because this is a homeless shelter in Sudbury's like absolute worst area. Hello? It's all good. It's all good. Just explore. It smells good, man. At this time, I came across a person in the building, which was to be expected. I smelled cannabis as I approached the room, so I knew it wasn't security or construction crew. I made myself known, as you always should in an abandoned building. I assumed he was looting the copper because he had coils of electrical and was taking out the window, but after speaking to him briefly, he knew someone from the construction crew and he was coming in to donate the windows and fixtures to the local restore, a second-hand market for construction materials. I spoke to him briefly and he let me know to make my visit short as there were many homeless people who were visiting right, the building from time to time. Stay safe. Never know what you're gonna run to in here. Oh, there's a chair just chilling. Looks like someone had a little fire in the tub. Jeez, there is an exit door. Pretty much all I have to see up here. Don't wanna bother that guy too much. Here, might as well get started back on the flash. Oh, there's my bike out there. Don't wanna bother that guy too much. He just seemed to be scrapping, but he's he's in the he's got the right frame of mind. He uh he was pointing out the windows and saying that that stuff should go to the restore. So this looks like it was like a little church area where they would have like their sermons and whatnot because they're all very religious people. Man, there's just so much random garbage. Like a boot. Not all that much else to see down here. Such a weird building layout though, it's in a big U. With a small courtyard in the middle. This 
So I see stairs coming down right here. If you believe those, just go to street level. There's some stairs up. I didn't take these yet. Oh, very beautiful murals. Covered in drywall plaster, but still beautiful. So, just like my last video, it's that, that weird school flooring. This stuff hasn't been taken care of as well, but you can see it's on the walls too. Did this place have a third floor? Yeah, it did. All right, last floor. Oh, got some water up here. <coughs> oh, that's an awesome shot. Little seclusion room. A little bit of art. Not a whole lot to see. A little electrical closet. Oop. What's this? Um, oh, men's bathroom, I guess. Surprised that all these mirrors are still intact. Wow. Like, walking around and everything's broken off from the ceiling. But these mirrors are still here. I guess this place has only been hit by looters and not by vandals. Which makes sense. It's downtown and pretty much the lowest income area you can go. Really good stuff here. What? Mold. Ooh. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's sketchy. Oh, another electrical closet. Showers. Showers. Not a whole lot to see. Not a whole lot of privacy for them either. Whoop. Duck under that. Oh. oh, big bathroom. Huh. Let's go this way. I don't like being out in the open. Although, it just brings me right back that way. Room. Not so much garbage up here though. That's a great shot too. Big pile of drywall in here. So I'm going to have to do some voiceovers with the story of what happened to this building because honestly, I have no clue. This was the homeless shelter for the longest time and once COVID-19 hit, they had to close because obviously you can't socially distance in a homeless shelter and that just seemed to be the end of the building. Ooh, there's roof access. 
Hmm. I'm gonna regret it if I don't, so I'll see you guys up there. So I gotta stay low, because obvious reasons, but I figured I could at least lean over and get you guys a view of the shot. Huh. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, talk about a sketchy entry, holy crap. That was... No more, no more of that for me. Alright. Pretty sure I saw all of this. Yep, I saw all of this. Yeah, not a whole lot to see in here, so I might as well get out. Get out before I'm told to get out. This is weird. Bike still out there? Yeah, no one's fucked with it. Alright, well, thanks for watching this short video of the Salvation Army here in downtown Sudbury. I hope that you enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Well, at this time, it is not clear what the plans for the property are. It seems that the property will serve no immediate purpose and will remain vacant, possibly as parking spaces for years to come. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing, leave a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you know of any abandoned buildings in and around the Sudbury area. Check me out on social media down in the description below. This has been Dax with Improper Places, and thank you for watching.